What we learned, uh, you know, over the years we've collected a lot of information about emergency preparedness and we've been putting it on the Emergency Preparedness Committee webpage and what we learned is that there was a lot of information on there and you kind of had to hunt for it. Uh, it wasn't in an easy, you know, easily accessible format. So that was sort of the genesis of this project. Okay. So what people should do is if you go to the City of Rancho Palos Verdes webpage at palosverdes.com slash rpv, over on the left side under government, Go to the committee menu and then the emergency preparedness committee menu and you'll see RPV Ready. And this is the new RPV Ready emergency preparedness website. It'll bring you to this page. And from here, you should just click on whatever icon you're most interested in, whatever topic you're most interested in. So for example, if you're interested in learning how to prepare if you have children in the house, if you go over to the children icon and click on that, over on the left side, you're going to get all kinds of information about what you should do to help prepare your house if you have kids in the house. Um, if you're interested in making an evacuation plan, go down to evacuation, click on evacuation, and it's going to give you all kinds of information on how to evacuate. Talk about uh, your go bag. If you don't have a go bag, click on go bag, and it's going to tell you how to make a go bag. So we tried to make this information very accessible, um, very straightforward. One of the other things that's really important for people to do is to join Alert Los Angeles. And over on the right-hand side down at the bottom, if you click on Join Alert LA, it's going to take you to a separate web page. And this is hosted by the County of Los Angeles. And residents of Los Angeles County can come in here and sign up to get reverse 911 notifications. So if there's an event happening in their area, you're going to get a phone call or a text message from the County of Los Angeles alerting you to this incident. So this is a really positive uh, development that we've seen in emergency preparedness over the past few years as the local government's actually pushing information out. City of Rancho Palos Verdes is doing that as well. You can sign up for, uh, from the City of Rancho Palos Verdes, you can sign up for listserv announcements. And the city is very good about pushing out information that's local. With listservs, the city will actually push out information to you so if you want to know about what's going on in the city, if there are emergencies happening in the city, the city's going to get that information to you. You'll also receive updates about when the Emergency Preparedness Committee meetings are and uh, where you can attend those. Those are every third Thursday at 7 p.m. at City Hall generally. But you can sign up for all of these different topics, breaking news, uh, city council agencies, newsletters, so anything you're interested in, just click on what you want and then go down here and hit subscribe and you're going to get that information sent right to you. One of the other things we have on the website is uh, a section that tells you what to do if. So if you're interested in preparing for an earthquake, you click on earthquake. If you want to learn about how to prepare for storms or flooding, we have a top a section on storms and flooding, contagious diseases, we have information about terrorism, evacuation, uh, when there's a power loss, fires, tsunamis, and something that's very important that some people don't even know is a big part of emergency preparedness is shelter in place. The Emergency Preparedness Committee wants to encourage all residents of Rancho Palos Verdes to make a plan, build a kit, and get involved in preparing your house and your community for an emergency. In addition to all the international offerings, yes. you know, the Chinese, the Greek, of course, Everything. the hot dogs and hamburgers, the corn, all yes. of those wonderful things. We will also have gourmet pizza, um, mm -hmm. Italian ices. We have a coffee vendor this year, so wow. really fun. But we're very excited. We have a vegan offering. <gasps> Great. So um, for those people who want to follow their vegan wishes, That's you right. can totally do that at the street fair. And then also in New Orleans cuisine with the beignets and oh, pralines and all of that. So, and of course, funnel cake, right, Maria? Yeah, we have to have that. That's always delicious. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the music. A lot mm -hmm. of people, of course, come out for the music and the, you know, the greatest bands that come out, Eileen, mm -hmm. I don't know how you guys pick through those to select them, but they, it's always a winner. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Well, I mean, our biggest challenge with the music is that it's standing room only. Exactly. I mean, it is packed yes. from morning till evening. It really is. We are so excited. Of course, our repeat favorites are coming back. Okay. Um, we have something for everything, so there will be, you know, the Steely Dan and the Eagles and, of course, the Beatles tribute band, so okay. really, really fun. We've added um, a new acapella group, um, Street Corner Renaissance, that you may have 
have heard on the um, NBC Sing Off program. Very nice. So they'll be there on Sunday morning. And Andy and Renee Hard Rain, um, who do a eclectic version of music covering spanning many decades. So it'll be really fun, but you need to get there early to get your seat yes. and be prepared to dance. Okay. Um, we're also going to be offering this year um, a small number of reserved seats wow. for the different musical performances because we've had such demand for people who do not want to miss a certain band.